No, I don't see our performance dip against uh, Man United and uh, also not uh, today. Uh, I think the performance is enough to, uh, to even win the game. But uh, what we clearly see is that we do, uh, we give easy goals away. And this is very unusual. We make big mistakes that lead to big chances and lead to, to easy goals. And uh, we do this now since uh, three days, uh, three, three match days, like against Man United, Watford, and again today. If you do this on, on this kind of level, you cannot expect to have a result. Bob Joyner. Yeah, hi, Thomas. I mean, just given the, the standard at the moment in the Premier League, and particularly amongst the top three teams, seems so good. Does it mean that you have to get out of a little period like this where you've conceded goals here, played badly and what against Watford maybe in the week very quickly because there won't be a lot of um, give in the title race this season? The race is not interesting in the moment. What is interesting is as always the, the, the next 90 minutes and it's only interesting uh, to, to have the focus right and the attitude right and... Uh, to take care about the details and uh, we are not good enough in the details in the moment. We do too many uh, big mistakes and we need to care about the details. There is no need to ask big questions or be in uh, or, or start doubting about the big picture. This is, uh, this is a game if you play at West Ham, this is about details. And, uh, I can only repeat myself without doing big mistakes is, uh, is uh, it's a big chance that we win, win this game. Jeremy Langdon. Yeah, hi, Thomas. Uh, what would you say about Mendy on the first West Ham goal and also the last one? And how bad is the Havertz injury, please? Kai has huge pain. Marcus Alonso has back pain. So it's another two, two substitutes due to injury. This is, uh, of course, also a subject and uh, we have to deal with it. Um, Edu is going through a bit to a rough period. I don't know why exactly, but seem, yeah, seems like to have lost a bit of confidence. And uh, okay, decision making was not on the, the, the highest level today in, in, within the first goal. But we also bring him to a to a to a really awkward situation. He could have saved the situation. He did not. I mean, this is uh, can turn it and twist it. And uh, we are we are far far away from blaming anybody, but we need to we need to admit that we do too many crucial mistakes at the moment that cost us a uh, potential win against Man United and cost us today potential win. Matt Law. Hi, Thomas. Um, you've had a few issues in midfield lately, both with fitness and, and form of some players. How much are you missing in Golo Kante, and do you have any idea when he'll be back? No, I have actually no idea when he will be back and uh, we're missing not only Golo, we're missing also Matteo Kovacic since, I don't know, four, five, six weeks. And uh, Shoshi is playing with uh, a hip pain since, since many days and uh, since many match days. And you can see it and... Uh, that's the situation. Last Sorry, just to interrupt. Just, just when you say he's, you, you've got no idea when he'll be back, does that mean he won't play before the new year, Kante? I do. How can you say? If I say you have, I have no idea, how can you say that this means that he will not play this year? No, I'm asking. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm literally asking, do you think he'll play before the new year? It's not interesting what I think, because like it, it's, he, he plays when he's back, but... but until until uh, new, new year is a long way to go. I'm just I, I cannot give you. A, if I say now he plays in ten and he does not play, that does not help. Uh, he's he's injured. I take care about the guys who are on the pitch, and N'Golo is not on the pitch since since Juventus. Okay, last two on today: Jerry Cox and Neil Barnett to finish. Jerry, hi Thomas. Um, this time last year, Chelsea went into December. They'd been top in November and lost four games in December. That really derailed their title bid. Did, have you looked at that? Have you, have you wondered what happened in the month of December last year to, to prevent it happening this year? No, not one second. OK, last one on Stoke, Neil Barnett. Uh, Thomas, the, the goal that was conceded against Watford, uh, Chelsea in possession, lost in the centre circle, Manchester United and the first goal today lost... In the in your own half, 
Um, a theme here. Is there overplaying at the moment? We have some acute overloaded players, but um, this is not an excuse because they will stay overloaded. Because if you look at our schedule, there will not there will not be an escape, and uh, um, this is exactly where we struggle in the moment. We have uh, crucial ball losses in in, uh, in situations and in zones where you simply cannot have them if you if you if you wanna play clean sheets, if you wanna dominate games. If you want to protect yourself against counter-attacks, it's impossible to do these kind of mistakes. We did them now uh, three, three, three times in a row, simply too much. Uh, and and uh, we, we cannot give any excuses that we are tired. We, it, it's absolutely normal to be tired if you play Premier League through winter. And uh, it is a, a question of absolute focus, it's a question of detail, it's a question of precision, and it's a question of risk management. Where do you take the risk and uh, where you absolutely don't take the risk? Um, if you invite a, a team like West Ham United into, 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 into your own box, if you invite them in, into, into, into the last 20 meters by, giving, uh, by having big ball losses, then you are in trouble. This is, uh, this is uh, a no-brainer.